Oh, hey there, I didn't see you come in. So uh, let's talk about screwdrivers. So here's some screwdrivers. Uh, I've gone a bit nuts and I have quite a few of them. But how did I get to a point where I've got a bunch of very similar screwdrivers on my desk? Well, basically, uh, you get to a point in life where, you know, you're in your 20s and you do house shares and you need tools, you buy some tools every now and again, you buy the cheapest, crappiest stuff from pound shops or B&Q and they break or they get lost or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'm a grown-up now, I'm in my 30s, I'm married, let's buy some decent screwdrivers. I do a lot of crafty stuff, I do obviously DIY and whatever, but I do a lot of different stuff, so I, I like nice things. I'm also of the kind of buy once, cry once mindset, that is, buy the right thing first time, and you don't have to buy it again, you'll have a good time. So I went out to my local B&Q, which is a hardware shop in England, like a DIY centre, and I bought some of these Stanley Fat Max screwdrivers a whole set of them and they weren't super cheap I can't remember how much they were I had a big old set this is probably about four or five years ago and I thought they'd be great and they haven't been bad they are you know screwdrivers they drive screws but uh basically I broke a bunch so this one's been used pretty heavily I doubt my phone will focus but yeah they've been used a bunch and I've broken several of these so I was like you know what I'm gonna replace my screwdriver set because because why not so the first one I went for was uh, Weera, and these are the Weera Comfort, Comfort something or other screwdrivers. They're like the cheaper ones, but they're, you know, they're supposed to be pretty good. They've got this kind of like molded hand thing, so someone squished some clay to get the impression of the shape of a hand. And in the hand, it feels really nice. Uh, they feel really good. This is soft, this is hard. You get the, the name on the end. <clears throat> they're made in, I think, the Czech Republic? And overall, it's a very nice screwdriver. All of these screwdrivers, apart from a couple of them, are all the same. They're all, uh, this one's a Phillips head one, but the rest are all Phillips head two. Which is most useful screwdriver, the one I use the most all over the place. For all kinds of things, it's a good general purpose screwdriver. But yeah, this feels really good in the hand. Uh, and the set was actually pretty cheap, I think it was £16. And I was like, hey, I've gone down the rabbit hole of watching YouTube videos about screwdrivers. Let's get a few more and compare them, because they're not super expensive. Well. <clears throat> most of them aren't super expensive. So I got some more screwdrivers and I'll see which one I like the most and then thought maybe I'd do a video about it. So, you know, whatever. So next up I bought a Weha one, uh, also German. I think also made in Germany. Um, this is really nice. It feels honestly of higher quality than this overall. Uh, in the hand, it feels very like a normal screwdriver, if that makes sense. Unremarkable comfort wise, but the end is my phone will focus, probably won't. The end is very, it's machined quite nicely, let's just say. It feels better machined than the Wearer one. Uh, in terms of using a screwdriver, I've used all of these. It's pretty good, it drives screws, you know? Um, then I was like, well, let's try some of the other ones. So I got a couple at the same time. I got this one here, which is from a company called Ox, which I know a lot of plumbers use, which was actually the cheapest one here. No, these really broke the bank. <clears throat> um, yeah. This screwdriver, honestly, it's sick. <laughs> it seems pretty well made. Um, probably similar to this. It feels good quality, feels nice in the hand, has a nice shape to it. In fact, it's actually very similar to this Weera in terms of its dimensions. Uh, it's got a plastic cap on the end. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's, it's for the most part, it feels like a good solid screwdriver. And compared to these Stanley Fat Max ones, probably about the same quality as these. But this is actually substantially cheaper, I think, than this set. I think maybe this is about a fiver for the screwdriver. And I think these work out maybe a similar price, maybe slightly less. But overall, I think this is probably of, of a similar caliber to the Stanley ones. It's a really good screwdriver and it doesn't cost very much. I think a set probably won't be too expensive. And I was like, what are the well-known brands? So I got a Vessel and a Philo screwdriver. Um, and this is where it gets really interesting because these are both great. Uh, they're both, I was like, this one's really nice. I'm probably happy with this set. I got a set of six of them. The rest of these are all bought as individuals. So I have like five sets of screwdrivers. But I bought a set of these. They were pretty cheap. I think they're about £15 for the set. And I was like, I'll be happy with this. These are good. These seem like they work. They're well made enough. They feel nice in the hand. And then I got these two. Let's get this out of the way. Get out of the way, you. So Philo, a German vessel, a Japanese. This is made in Japan. I like Japanese stuff in general, but it's a made in Japan screwdriver. This is a German-made screwdriver. 
they're both super high quality. In fact, actually, they feel a step up from this even. They feel incredibly well made. So the vessel uh, looks kind of like it wouldn't be very comfortable in your hand. There's rubber down here and hard bits here. It's actually incredibly comfortable, uh, although it doesn't look as ergonomic. In your hand, it actually feels really good to turn. It has this knurling on the uh, shaft of the screwdriver, and you're not going to be able to see this, I don't think, but there's some steps on the teeth, on the, the, the head of the Phillips head, which in terms of actually driving screws, it feels different to the rest of these. It feels much more positive and less slippy. It feels like the screws aren't going anywhere. It feels like you know, better made, basically. It's really good. Um, the handle doesn't feel as expensive as some of these other screwdrivers. It probably feels about the same as this. But the overall, the experience of this feels like a premium thing you're holding, more so possibly than this. But I think they're probably in a similar thing. I think the tip is better on, on this vessel screwdriver. And then we get to the Philo and this guy, the elephant in the room, the snap-on. I own one snap-on thing, and that's this screwdriver. Um, I bought it second hand, so I haven't put all this use into it. It's been a bit battered and, and whatever. I bought this second hand because ain't nobody got time to spend £28 on one screwdriver. That can that can get in the bin. So I got this second hand off eBay. It's been used. Uh, this one screwdriver costs slightly more than this set of screwdrivers. I think I paid £16 for this. It's a nice long screwdriver. Uh, that's all I can say about it. The tip feels unremarkable. It feels, well, it's been used, obviously, pretty heavily, but, um, yeah, it feels like a decently made in the hand. It's got the sort of triangular pattern to it, the sort of tri-lobed pattern going on. This material has, like, a, a, a wood grainy type finish. This part's rubber, this part's plastic, and, obviously, it carries a huge premium because it has this word on it. But in terms of actual build, it, it is one of the nicest ones here. It is very nice. It feels very similar to the, the Weehar in terms of build quality. It doesn't feel better in any way. Um, in terms of driving screws, you know, it drives screws. It's it's a really good screwdriver. Is it worth, if you paid £30 for this, brand new, would it be worth it? Hell no. Is it is it is it six times better? I've got a set of six of these, and I've got one of these. Half price. So actually, is it 12 times better than this already technically premium screwdriver from a well-known company. Hell no, no it's not. It totally isn't. So, but it's really nice. It's a really nice screwdriver. I know it's a video about screwdrivers, but you know, it's a really nice screwdriver. And then we get to this one, the Philo. This one, uh, it's sick, to be honest. It's a very similar shape to the Weera. Um, slightly different, the sort of bulge is further down, more towards your palm. So it sits in the palm like thusly. Um, it has a hex shank on it, and also this little grippy guy for turning it with a ratchet or, you know, spanner or whatever. And on the end, which you will not be able to see at all, because I'm filming on a phone, uh, the end of this is nuts. It actually has a, the coating actually has horizontal lines etched into it. Um, very fine horizontal lines, which means it grips screws like nobody's business. Let's see if we can actually get on this in a way where you can see it. There you go. It has those on it. This thing grips just as well as as these guys on this vessel. Let's just get a little roll, see if you can see it properly. There we go. So you can see those? Those little teeth on the edge of there? Um, yeah, this thing grips screws as well as this one. Um, they both feel like they're gripping them, and they fit better into screw heads of this size, better than all of the others. Uh, it's a bit heavier. In terms of construction, it feels like you could probably fire this out of a cannon into the side of a building and it would survive it. This thing feels ridiculously overbuilt. It's heavy. It has this cap on the end for striking. I don't know if it's metal, I don't think it is, but it's extremely hard plastic. If not, I wouldn't have a problem smacking this with a big old hammer. It would definitely survive it. It feels heavy. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked. There was a lot of weight in this end. I wouldn't be shocked if there's a big metal lug in here and this goes all the way through. This thing feels incredibly, incredibly tough. And in the hand, it also, is definitely the most comfortable of all of these. It has a similar feature to a lot of the others where it's flat on two sides, top and rolling. Uh, in practice, I'm not gonna show you a roll test, but I've rolled them around. I know, video about screwdrivers, but anyway, I like this stuff. So this original Stanley one does not have those flats. They, these things roll around like crazy. Um, they love rolling about. Also a bit smaller in the hand, they feel like a screwdriver, nothing special. Um, but yeah, this rolls the least. Um, it's heavy this end, and where I think these go out so much further, and they're not in the middle, 
in a roll test, this rolls the least. It feels the best. It is heavy. It's like noticeably it feels heavy, but also it fits very comfortably in the hand. It's entirely rubber. It feels great. Um, this is definitely, in my opinion, the best screwdriver here. And I went into this thinking that it'd probably be this guy would be the winner because I, I liked it. I liked the shape. I liked the way it looked. I liked the, the fact that it's like, a, you know, whatever. These are all like reputable brands of, of stuff. Um, they're all great. They're all really good screwdrivers. Um, but I was going to put them in terms of order of what's my favorite in terms of screw putting in ability. I would say possibly the Vessel is the best, maybe followed slightly behind the Philo. It just, the way these little changes in the screw tip actually make a difference in terms of your sort of ability to, to move screws with them actually feels quite different. Uh, build quality, Vessel, uh, Philo, Weha, and probably Snap-on, the kind of similar. Philo's probably just about on top, but they all feel very good. So in terms of how they feel in the hand, it definitely goes Philo, the Weha, and then probably this Vessel. And then overall, in terms of what would be my ranking of these screwdrivers, to put them in order, it would go something like this. There we go. There we go. Something like that. So I think the real star here, I've not talked about that much, is this Ox screwdriver. This, these things are cheap, um, or relatively cheap. They feel like the kind of the confluence of quality and, and price kind of thing. These feel just like regular screwdrivers. They feel fine. Again, I've, I said I, because I've broken a bunch um, in just a space for a few years. I had a big set of these. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was a fairly expensive for the set. There's quite a few screwdrivers in it. But honestly, these Ox ones feel about the same build quality wise. Um, even if you look at the tips, like the tips are kind of similar. This sort of looks painted on maybe slightly worse, but they're both really good. Um, yeah, this Ox screwdriver is amazing. This is probably one I recommend if you don't want to spend a load on on whatever. I'm just going to buy the screwdriver I feel at the time for the size I need. I have a set um, which covers most of what I've got with this. The extra ones I'll buy, I'll just buy wherever I feel like, or basically whatever I get cheapest, you know. <laughs> oh, like, I'm not spending £20 or £30 on a screwdriver. I think the one that I'm most disappointed in, ultimately, not oh, disappointed, is a snap-on. Um, Actually, in terms of preference, yeah, it does go like this. So this snap-on doesn't feel like it's it's worth the money. And it's one of those sort of things where, you know, I don't care that it's made in America. American manufacturing is great, but this is made in Germany, this is made in Japan, this is made in the Czech Republic, and this is also made in Germany. You know, it's like these are all very good places to get things manufactured. And this just feels like it's, it's a good screwdriver. I think for the sort of things I'm going to do with it, which is probably hammering quite a lot, you get a good grip on it. It's a long screwdriver with a good old tip on it. Uh, I don't really care if it breaks. Would I buy any more snap-on tools? Probably not. Probably not screwdrivers at least. But if you look at the prices of snap-on things, they're so high. And I'm not sure it's justified here. Uh, these two feel like they're in a different class in terms of quality and build. They are also the second two most expensive. But that's not to say they're expensive. I think these are something like, I don't know, around the £10 mark. Uh, I think you've got a set that work out a lot cheaper. I'm not going to buy a set of... 10 of these, I'm not spend 100 quid on screwdrivers, but I think maybe you can get these for maybe six or seven pounds each, I think, on a good day. Um, it depends where you go, or if you get them a set or whatever. They're all really good. But yeah, definitely these two are my favorite, followed by this Weira, which is also very nice. This Weha is very nice, but feels more normal. The build of it is very nice. It feels like a quality made thing. Um, yeah, and the Ox really kind of like surprisingly excellent little thing for the price so there you go that's a, a video about screwdrivers and that's me done bye